I recently purchased the Elgato Stream Deck to enhance my online training. After spending a few days with this device, my only reaction is wow. Why did I not purchase this earlier? Let me show you how you can take your online training to the next level with the Elgato Stream Deck. Let's get started. First, let's understand what is a Stream Deck. It's a USB device connected to your laptop or your computer. It has a series of physical buttons and as you press each button, you can trigger an action on your computer. The Stream Deck comes in three sizes. The small, which has just six buttons. This one, which is the medium size with 15 buttons. And then there is a larger version with 32 buttons. You program the device using the companion app. There are hundreds of actions that you can drag and drop onto the appropriate key. In addition to that, you can create your own custom functions. Everything that you can do with the Stream Deck, you can do by pressing the appropriate keys on your keyboard. So what makes the Stream Deck such a great productivity tool? Usually when I do an online training, I will have four to five windows open on my computer. For example, right now I have OBS Studio on one monitor and I have a website on which I'm doing the training on the other monitor. In addition to that, I might have PowerPoint open. Let's say it's on monitor number two. And if I'm doing my training via Zoom, then I would have Zoom window open on this monitor. It's always a challenge trying to figure out which window is open on which monitor and switching to the right window at the right time. The problem would be even worse if you had only one monitor. For example, if I'm delivering my training right now and I want to switch to the next slide in PowerPoint, I have to first find out where is the PowerPoint window. It's on this monitor. Move my mouse to the corner of the screen and then click the next button. That's how I would change. On the Stream Deck, I have programmed this key called Next. If I press this key, it will automatically find where is the PowerPoint window and switch to the next slide. Switching to different scenes in OBS is equally easy. For example, if I want to switch to the main camera, I just hit the button and my view changes to the main camera. Or if I want a scene with my picture and PowerPoint in the same scene, if I want to demonstrate something on the desktop, I have created a scene for that, which I can change with the press of a button. In my future videos, I will show some of the cool actions that I have programmed on the Elgato Stream Deck. In this video, I only wanted to highlight the benefits that you can gain as an online trainer by including the Stream Deck in your workflow. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel to get more content like this. If you are a trainer and you have a Stream Deck, have fun playing with it.